Welcome to Common Sense Investing. My name is Cameron, and today I continue my journey in trying to find the next 10x penny stock. As always, I look forward to giving you introductions to good companies that also have the potential of being good stocks. Today, I get to introduce and discuss some of the rewards and the risks of investing in Adcor Inc. Their ticker symbols are up here, and I'm going to introduce their investor presentation talking about what they do. Marketing. Adcor's marketing cloud provides marketers of all sizes with easy access access to a wide range of essential marketing apps, all conveniently available in one place. And when I look at these apps, it definitely gives me the feel of Adobe, where they have all these different apps that you could look at, purchase separately depending on your needs, or you can get the marketing cloud and just get all these apps all in one. And what they do with their marketing cloud in action is market and use Facebook, Instagram, Google, Google Shopping, YouTube, Microsoft, Bing, TikTok. Basically, their apps integrate your marketing across all these different different platforms at once. That's it. This might be the shortest what they do video segment of all time for this channel because it's not that hard to understand. They have a marketing and sales strategy for you as a client. They have a marketing and sales strategy for themselves so more people use them and they want you to hire them to market whatever you need to market using their platform. Before I go look at AdCore's numbers, do not forget that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm definitely not your financial advisor. This video is not financial advice. I am just introducing this stock for you to continue researching. Please go do your own independent research. This slide tells me so much, and honestly, I'm just getting so used to seeing it in micro caps, where 2021 was just an absolutely crushing year, where companies performed just massively going to the moon recklessly, not taking care of their cash, just assuming they're going to have money forever in the low interest rate environment. 2022 hits and all of a sudden everybody hits problems, right? Revenue is down, free cash flow is down, earnings are down. Everybody's having trouble in 2022. It was a terrible year for microcaps. The best companies recover. 2023 was definitely a better year for revenue than 2022. Now, despite revenue being flat in Q1, I hear that they have plans of improving this in future quarters. If we look at operating income, that has improved from negative 180,000 to negative 124,000. Share dilution has actually gone down a little bit, less shares outstanding, down from 60.4 million to 60.3 million. EBITDA has gone from a negative number to a positive 130. So is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. It's trending slowly in the right direction, though. The only thing not trending in the right direction is revenue. Adcor reports a year-over-year -year revenue increase of 1%. 1%. That is not going to excite anybody. But it's showing up in their market cap and their share price, right? Market cap of only $13.25 million. Enterprise value of $5.5 million. They have cash. Price to sales is $0.41. And EV over EBITDA of less than 8 So while the revenue isn't exciting right now, it's also not a company that's priced for growth. Looking at some other numbers here, right? Revenue of $23.16 million. This is all trailing 12 months. They're showing no growth like we talked about, 0.5%. But because they only have a float of 18.38 million implied shares outstanding of 62.97 million that is revenue per share of 38 cents which isn't too bad they have 5.92 million dollars in cash and no debt so that's attractive right this is a company with a good financial foundation they are also making cash and that's something that has to be taken into consideration in my mind. 69% insider ownership. So with everything I've shown you, I think the summary here is clear. This company has a solid financial foundation. They have 5.9 million cash. They have lots of cash. They have no debt and they're making more cash. They're not diluting shareholders. They have fairly low shares outstanding and they have high insider ownership. This is a well-run, well-managed company. The problem, the risk with Adcor is that they haven't been getting growth, or at least not recently. They had gotten growth up until COVID, till about 2021, and like a lot of other companies coming out of COVID, struggled. And now this is another company that's trying to change their fortune, change their company, cut expenses, and continue to grow into the future. Can they do that? 
The company would like to say yes with recent press releases highlighting significant opportunities for growth, including a strategic partnership with Microsoft Advertising, attaining Google Premier Partner status, and getting new contracts with Candle Fox and Best and Less. So what you have here is a company that is telling you they expect more growth in the future. If they can convince you of that, then I would suggest that's not in the share price right now. And there's opportunity here with Agcor. To continue finding good stocks, buying good stocks, and keeping good stocks, you're welcome to join my Patreon Discord. I now have about 110 people in there. Fantastic discussion. Thank you for your time. I hope to see you again soon.